Peace family. My name is Vicki Dillon for African Diaspora News Channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to give the video a big thumbs up, thumbs up. That way other people will know that we're here uh, and it helps us to overcome some of the limitations of some of the algorithms. Thank you so much for tuning in uh, and sharing the video. Also, family, did you know that we have our own app? Isn't that exciting? You heard that right. Beloved, the information should be below on how you can connect with us. Tell everybody about it. This helps to expand our voice. And how many of you all know that so many times, um, sometimes we can you know, run into certain types of limitation and different forms of censorships on different platforms. And so that helps us to avoid that when you download the app and subscribe and tell everybody, you know, thank you so very much. I think you're going to love it. Listen, family, how many of you all are familiar with this one, Jane Elliott? She is known as a teacher. She has made the rounds for decades. Uh, this, this white lady, Jane Elliott, she has been known many years ago on Oprah Winfrey's show. Um, her dealing with um, her, her racial um, uh, theory and project that she does calling out um, uh, racism amongst white people, even though she's white. Um, she's been on late night talk shows. I mean, uh, she has been in attendance uh, to HBCUs. Yes, our own people have uh, invited her um, to their uh, colleges and universities and sororities and fraternities and places of worship and help to pay this lady's bills and stuff. And I'm going to tell you why I am just on one today. I want you to watch this clip of this so-called uh, anti-racist activist, Jane Elliott. I want you to watch this first clip. I'm gonna do it that way. Then first you have to pay off the Native Americans whose land we took and whose homes we took and whose people we killed in the millions. No, they, they, got, paid. they got paid. We'll have they, to... they have land. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, they, really? They have land. They have you reservations have and they also have okay. economic Oh, yeah. And oh, would they you like to talk to taxes. me about reservations and what a wonderful payment that is? Would you like to be on a reservation? Do hey, you, would you be willing to, would all the black people in this country be willing to take a reservation? That's what, that's what the Nation of Islam was asking for. Well, it, is that a smart thing to do? I don't think it was. I don't know. Do you think it was a really comfortable place to be? The way that they were living, no, nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't live like that. Oh, well, but so, but um, okay. I'm, but, we but, won't but, even go but, there. but the whole we but the whole there. planet is a but the whole planet is a prison for black people. So like it it can't get any worse for black people. So you you can't. I, I'm not gonna look at somebody else and say, oh shoot, like I don't want my own land. I don't want a shot at that. I would never say that. A black person is not gonna they say, I don't. I don't want to have a chance. <laughs> To, to create my own civilization and my own society. Everybody wants that chance and everybody deserves that chance. And black people deserve reparations in the form of land, in the form of cash payments, and in the form of some type of tax consideration. So yeah. now shout out to these brothers that had on the podcast. This was about three years ago. And if you follow my work and you've seen me on multiple platforms, you know I discussed this years ago. And I've discussed this even recently um, because I think it's worth discussing. I was scrolling through um, one of the social media platforms and um, I believe it was a HBCU related or affiliated um, platform. Thousands and thousands and thousands of subscribers, so many views where they were singing the praises of Jane Elliott as if she was, you know, Mary Magdalene of, of, of something, Mary and, and, and stuff. And they were just going on and on and on about this Jane Elliott. And I just couldn't believe what I was hearing. And I'm like, wait a minute, what in the world is really going on? Do you all understand that this woman is a fake? She is a fraud. Why am I saying that? She just told you why she is not an anti-racist teacher or activist, an expert and a skilled person that black, black universities and black uh, religious institutions and black so uh, social groups pay honorariums and fly in to talk. This is the trick bag black family that we have to get out of. What is that? Just because a member of the oppressive class is willing to talk about racism doesn't mean that they're actually an ally. The test is always, what do you do to hold your people accountable?
And the moment you bring up reparations and they say, no, you know, they're a fraud. Hello, Bernie Sanders. How many of you all were singing the praises of Bernie Sanders? Um, even Sean King one time called him the Messiah. Literally called him the Messiah. When uh, Bernie Sanders was, was Bernie Sanders was on The View and Sonny Hostin asked him about cash reparations. Bernie Sanders, who believes in spending no exaggeration, trillions, that's what the T, of dollars, to make sure that all Americans can get free health care, free college and all of that. He believes in giving absolute freebies to everybody, and that's cool. But when you say, what about the people that shed blood? What about the people that were stolen, whose land was stolen, whose bodies were stolen? Those that built America, what about giving them reparations? He says emphatically, unequivocally, no. When you look at folks like Tim Wise, they claim that Tim Wise is such this pro, pro, pro uh, white man who's an anti-racist activist. When you talk to him about what, you, what should be done about it and reparations, he's against it. Do you see how she acted? Well, let me school the so-called school teacher. Now, class in session, Professor Vicki Dillard is an instructor. Miss Jane Elliott, did you know that there were certain so-called Indian tribes, by the way, the original natives were black-skinned natives. Y'all do understand that. You do understand that some of our people were actually already owners in here in what you call the United States of America, and some of our people were snatched and enslaved from the continent of Africa. You do know that, right? Just want to clear that up. But in addition to all of that, uh, Miss Jane Elliott, does she not know and understand that some of the natives were actually slaveholders? Miss Jane Elliott, did you know that the U.S. government years ago entered into certain contracts with several of the tribes, paid them money to release some of their slaves and to pay some of the slaves? And some of the Indian tribes, not only did they not release the slaves in the time that they promised the government that they would, but they kept the money that they were supposed to pay. Did you know that some of the Indians are the ones that helped to chase runaway slaves and drag them back to the plantation? Did you know in recent history that some of the Indian tribes objected to black folks receiving some of the payouts where there was a provision in some of the treaties where black folks that look like me are supposed to be entitled to some of the tangible benefits that's in some of those treaties. This is the reason why the great Dr. Claude Anderson literally spent hundreds of thousands of dollars of his own very black dollars in court to fight for some of those legal treaty tangible benefits. Did you all know that? And the nerve to say that we don't get it unless they get it first. So not only were we some of the originals, but not only as the melanin lighten up over time, there was a, some of the ones that you recognize as uh, uh, Indians are the ones that enslaved us, kept us enslaved, entered into different contracts with the government, refused to release us on time in terms of out of slavery and didn't pay us some of the monies and funds that they received. And modern history, some of the tribes reject black folks receiving some of the tangible benefits where there's provisions in some of those treaties that means uh, that belong to us. They got land, free health care, and a whole bunch of other freebies. So because they're not, they're, in her estimation, be, uh, 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 and, and based on anybody that has intelligence, because they're not good stewards of the land and the freebies and, 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 and the uh, tangibles, I should say, that they receive. She shrugs her shoulders and she thinks that we that should be out of the question for us. Shout out to that brother on, on, on the podcast, Socks and Sanders, that put her in place. This is always the test. Who cares if your oppressor is willing? There's a group of the oppressors that lie about our oppression. And then there's another group that's willing to admit it. And that group is willing to admit it because they know that they don't have to do anything about it. They know that there's no repercussions. There's no accountability. There's nothing required of them. And the moment you say reparations, and the moment you say to right your wrongs, the real them comes out. And did you see it with her little attitude and huffing and puffing? She turned into a total Karen, a total Gretchen, a Matilda. 
and we calling you out. And that's my judgment today. Talk black to me. I can't wait to hear what you have to say about it. My name is Vicki Dillard, beloved, uh, and I'm so pleased that you joined us today. I want you all to know we're not going to let up on our demand for reparations. That is the main provision that we're demanding from either uh, the Republicans or the Democrats. Why is that the main thing? Because in every, almost every metric we find, whether it's crime, whether it's educational disparities, whether it's economic disparities, health disparities, familiar disparities, all major disparities, there is a direct or indirect connection to economics. So when we push for reparations, we're automatically covering a lot of the other policies. That's why it should be the main thing. And there's some, it's a matter of justice. Again, my name is Vicki Dillard. Thank you so much for tuning into Africa Diaspora News Channel. Don't forget to download the app and be sure to check out my website at VickiPlanet.com. You can contact me there as well. That's VickiPlanet, V-I-C-K-I, Planet.com. I can't wait to see you again.